What's up, everybody? Uh, according to David Hellman, the Dallas Cowboys were thinking about bringing it back Greg, the leg, Zerline, but this is what happened. This is what happened. The Jets picked him up, and that kind of put us out of the race for Greg, the leg, Zerline back with a lesser contract. So they were trying their best to do uh, the we'll let you go and we'll bring you back for a cheaper contract route and on top of that we still have chris nagger who's the uh, kicker from smu that will be the starting kicker and i believe that they still should bring in someone to compete during this uh off season especially in otas training camp and everything like that y'all know how this thing goes right player evaluation should be 365 but according to David Hellman, the Cowboys were planning on bringing back Greg Zerline, but th this is how it goes, Cowboy Nation, as it relates to the offseason. I don't think that the Cowboys will dab any more in the free agency. This is just my thoughts. I, I think that they are waiting to after the draft to take a poke at this free agency. Now, of course, you still have Bobby Wagner. He's going out there to visit with the Ravens. He didn't get a contract with the LA Rams. Um, and for the Cowboys to say that they targeted Bobby Wagner, he never been in Dallas. So uh, that's a situation and a half. And of course, they said that he was in communications with Dan Quinn, but that's a lot of tongue in cheek, right? You got Gilmore who's still out there. I think that the, uh, the last news on Stefan Gilmore is the Chiefs, they may take a real good look at him. They may say, all right, we'll bring him in uh, for evaluation. But when you look at his tape, he didn't do a good job over there in Carolina land. You know, this, just to be honest with you guys. So that's why he's out there on the streets. Uh, Odell Beckham, he's still available as it relates to free agency. Uh, there's a big long wait and pause. We all know that Cleveland Browns did reach out and said, hey, they would like to have him back. And of course, the LA Rams said, hey, there's always an opening for you, Odell, to come back there. And on this list, uh, we, we also have the Honey Badger. You know how it goes. Uh, no, no major moves so far for him, right? No major moves. I didn't hear anything outside of Miami with a possibility and a chance to, to bring him in. Uh, Jadavion Clowney, Julio Jones, no, nobody pretty much looking at these guys. J.C. Treader, somebody that we probably should be taking in consideration, but he's 32 years of age. That's a long tooth, right? So they're probably looking at this like they got their hopes and their eyes set on someone in the draft. Maybe it's Zion Johnson. Maybe it's Kenyon Green. Maybe Tyler Landerbaum. He falls. I almost said Tyler Briotis, but maybe Tyler Landerbaum. He falls. Who knows how this draft can all unfold? Jarvis Landry, Melvin Gordon, uh, those guys on this list could be a situation but i believe that the dallas cowboys are looking at this and saying to themselves that we will wait till after the draft there will be more and more bodies fall right after the draft there will be teams that drafted a certain player and they look at their current roster and they got to get up under the cap and all of this other stuff and they may say to themselves we we're going to release this veteran guy. We're going to release that guy. And they're quite sure that that market re-up and everybody who was on this market before the draft, their price tag goes down, 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 down. That's just how it goes, Cowboy Nation. That's just how it goes. Unfortunately, that's just how it is for the Cowboys. And all we have to do is just sit back and wait at this point. Um, as far as the beat writers, they are, they are talking heavenly on Sam Williams. And if Sam Williams is drafted to the Cowboys, I would say, man, these guys are right on, on the money. But I'm quite sure that if he's not, then it's just a lot of you know traction for him to get bumped up in the draft or what have you, because the Cowboys are showing a lot of interest in Sam Williams. I mean, a lot. I mean, I met Mr. Jones at the All-American campaign. He was a pretty nice guy. He talked to me a lot. Uh, he kind of said he needed a Michael Parsons, uh, another one of them. So, I mean, I'm just, just hope for the best. I mean, I, I'd be, love to be a cowboy, but whatever happens, happens, you know? Who looks like Michael Parsons, by the way? 
but neither here nor there. Uh, I believe heading into this draft, the Cowboys are going to get right back focused and they got their draft board together. And one thing that they like to do a couple of days before the draft board is all sealed and and uh, and figured out is that they like to go over these guys one by one once again. So that's the Cowboys way. And their draft board is their draft board. We don't know what's on their draft board. We can only speculate. But truth be told, man, to be real with you guys, I'm not worried about the Cowboys drafting. They're going to draft pretty well. They are. And we're going to find a solid player out of the draft. But just to we talk about this once again the Cowboys according to David Hellman were ready to bring back Greg Zerline for a lesser price but the Jets stepped in and intervened now post me whether or not you think that was a good situation or a bad one that's been my time I really thank you all for yours and remember you're listening to nothing but the best <laughs>